can do uh, multiple resolution states for, uh, for alerts. We can also create our own resolution state. So let's show you how we would do that. So we'll cancel out of here. Are you sure? Yes, we'll go ahead and close that. And we're going to go into our active alerts. So here's our active alerts. And I'm going to right click one. So we'll just say uh, this one. I'll right click it. And then inside of here, I can go in and I can say close the alert. Or I can say set resolution state. So we have new, we have awaiting evidence, we have assigned to engineering, we have scheduled, we have resolved and we have closed. Now, what I want to do is I want to add another one. Maybe we have a special uh, configuration or a special uh, reporting method that we use, and we want this special reporting method uh, to uh, be used when we use a particular resolution state. So I want to make new resolution states. The way that we do this is we go into the administration workspaces on the bottom of page 185, and it goes quite a while, but we're going to go in here. And we're going to go into our settings. So let's shrink some of this down a little bit so I can see everything. There we go. And we're going to go into settings. Inside of settings, we're going to go into alerts. And here is our alerts. And these are our resolution states. So I'm going to say new. And we'll say sent to Bob to to fix. And we know that Bob's going to fix it. So I'll say OK. I'll say OK. Then I can go back into my monitoring. I can then go back into my active alerts. I can right click on the alert. And then I can go through and I can say that uh, the resolution state has been sent to Bob. So that updates the alert. And now that it knows that we have sent it to a new location, they showed you how you can go through and do all of that.